Oh god, I don't even know why I'm doing this. How's it going everyone? Knix is here and welcome to Let's Play. That is right. We're going in. And we're playing Custom Order Made 3D10. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Quite honestly, did not think I'd be making another video on this game. The other video was just a joke video, but this one, no, this is... This is all 100% full let's play, let's go kind of shit, and I, I don't know how to feel about this. But anyways, basically the whole deal with this is, guys, as you probably know, because I posted like a little YouTube comment thing before, but my computer went fucky a while back, not too while back, but my computer, it was doing some funky shit, so I reset everything. But little did I forget, I got everything that I needed to back up, but I forgot the save to this game. So I had to start over, but I have my presets, so that's all nice, but I have to start this game over, and I considered doing that and just going through, but then it occurred to me, in all of my 500 and some odd hours of playing this game, I never fully went through the story and mainly just customized the girls and didn't really do much story-wise. So, today, I decided, why not go through the story with you all? Because, you know, mmm, so good, so tasty. I know what you're expecting and you're not fucking getting it, but... Okay, so, yes. Other than the crude and lewd bits of this game, we're gonna go through it and we're gonna have fun. So... Let's just get right to it, shall we? Oh boy, this is gonna be a fucking mess, isn't it? This is a mistake. This is this. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Initial setup. NTR block, huh? Can block any male other than master from sexual activities or any related events. Awful allow any male to be added to the game. The story will be navigated to the NTR. All right, so let me let me just let me just put this out here for um those who do not know. What NTR is, NTR is the act of having your significant other get fucked by someone else. Either consensually or non-consensually, pretty much. Basically, you're getting cocked. That's what NTR is, and it is one of the worst fucking fetishes I can think of. <laughs> Listen, bro, if you like it, good for you, but... <sighs> something about NTR, it just don't sit right with me. Like, let me, let me lay it to you this way. If you're just going to look for a good old thing to jolly or little meat too then that's sure and fine and dandy like if you're just looking at a hentai without any substance or plot then yeah that, that's just hentai but once you start paying attention to the plot of an NTR hentai ye mm, anyways I know if I turn this shit off or turn it on because it, it is the block if I turn it on y'all are gonna call me bitch maid so we'll keep it off but we ain't doing no NTR shit in this game then you know that now so the protagonist transfer we don't have custom made one so that don't mean shit use it to just me don't even know what that does so that don't mean shit so let's just get right into it oh god <sighs> Tutorial male customization players can customize the appearance of the male silhouette head type body type body size and silhouette of coloring And all be customized the name. This is the player character. Well, yeah, you get it uh, anyways Yes, as you remember in the video NTR our player character's name was unfortunate fuck and for many reasons <laughs> As we know, but yes, so let's go make good old me. I guess I guess this is about the best me I'm gonna get. Like, all the bodies are kind of thick, and I mean, your boy ain't thin. And he is, he, your boy is a little thick right now. But, <laughs> you know what I mean, these, these bodies are thick. <laughs> but, and I, I don't know about the hair, because my hair, I kind of got the high top going on here. But, the closest one is this, but this face looking kind of funky. Like, look, 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 glasses. I don't got glasses on. Nah. So, I think the uppity faux hawk looking thing is probably the closest we're going to get. So, this, this is, this is us. This, this, this is good old connection. Let me just name them real quick. Can't show some of these things because they got some no-no images. So, bam, Knixis. All right, let's get going. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna do the damn thing, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. This is a big mansion. Once I got out of the taxi, what I saw was a big mansion. How did my uncle build this mansion? I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> I had a bad feeling, but it won't help to think too much. I mean, now you say that, but sometimes thinking a little bit harder. I know we're not used to this, me, but thinking a little bit harder <laughs> kind of reveals some things you missed. <laughs> Anyways, I set foot into the big mansion. My uncle called me up saying that I have a big present for you. Oh, this new mansion pretty- Oh yeah, you can move the camera around during cutscenes, which is kind of interesting, but this big mansion. Anyways, uncle doesn't have a good reputation among family, but I can't ignore him. Says who? <laughs> Says who? <laughs> I mean, does he have a gun to your head? Because if not, you can just, uh, when he's ringing, just put your phone on silent. Um, uh, mm-hmm. Anyways, let's get inside this big mansion. Hot no, I saw that. Turn your head, boy. Shh, I saw there we go. Look at the maid. <laughs> Anyways, we're not supposed to see you yet. Whoa! Inside it is really nice. It looks like a palace in an exotic country. I felt my back naturally stretch. What? I felt my back naturally stretches. <laughs> yeah, this there's some There's some English in here, so you know, we gotta kind of deal with that, but hey, but we've been waiting for you, Mr. Kinexis. What? Uh, oh, yeah, out of nowhere, someone talks to me. No, no, we looked at her when we came in. <laughs> a beautiful maid who is fit for a mansion like this. Please come this way. The master has eagerly been waiting for your arrival. Oh boy, I mean, I can turn the voices off, but for now. I don't think it really matters. Anyways, I nodded and followed the maid. I don't even know if there's gonna be a second episode of this. This is just for goose. All these episodes are gonna be extremely short, so don't expect them to be like an uh, hour long. Probably be like 20 minutes at the most. The maid's behavior was top class. A big mansion, a top class maid. Is something wrong? Oh no. How did my uncle come into possession of all this? There has to be something behind it. Some suspicious things, maybe some... I wonder. Anyways, thinking that, I could only follow the maid. Follow that maid. Hey, it's been a while, it's me, your uncle! <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> well, you look more of a man compared to the last time we met. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Uncle. <laughs> How should I put it? It's full of vitality. <laughs> um. By the way, have you ever heard of the Empire Club? The Empire Club. I see! I guess you have no idea about it. Um. Does that have something to do with the reason why you called me? That's right! Let me explain. I'm your tutorial, Uncle. <gasps> what? <laughs> well, the Empire Club is. The Empire Club is a members only high end saloon for gentlemen and ladies. Our maids give pleasure and relaxation through talking and dancing to the members of the club. There is not only one Empire Club, but there are many different ones all over the country with different business styles. There are even branches that only do business during the day, sell merchandise, specialize in dance, and so on. And one thing you can't forget is that Empire Club maids can give sexual pleasure too. The maids learn Yotogi through their masters and use their skills to max to pleasure the guest. Of course, there are Empire Clubs that don't have that. This will be one of them. <laughs> there are countless types of Empire Clubs. And my uncle talked to me with passion. And yeah, that's the reason I called you. Here was to give you a nice present. What was it? Uh, have you been aware of the huge mansion? The gorgeous entrance, the soft sofas, on top of these beautiful maids? You're really getting excited. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, I guess I've never been to a mansion this big. What are you going to use this fancy building for? What are you saying? Of course, for the Empire Club. What? <laughs> Just by hearing about the Empire Club, it sounds like a place to drink and have sex. Oh boy, howdy. <laughs> I didn't think it had to be this mag at this magnitude. The present is this Empire Club. 
What? <laughs> the Empire Club is built on a whole different scale compared to the other clubs. It's based on a whole new concept. First, it's expandable if the owner desires so. Any type of business is able to be managed there. Suppose you find a fine dining restaurant. You'll be able to manage a fine dining restaurant. If you make a hotel, you can have your guests stay there. This is an empire club that has unlimited potential. That's what this empire club... That's what this empire club... Okay. <laughs> Amazing. I don't really get it, but it sounds cool. <laughs> the Empire Club had dance stages and saloons where guests can talk and drink with the maids. And that's how different the... That's how difference is made. But it normally doesn't have any expanding elements like if you build facilities, the business style will follow. I see. That's why it's such a big building. It used to be about spending time with a perfect maid, but now you can make your own Empire Club with your maids in it. Now you can get anything made to order. That's amazing. And you're giving me this Empire Club with no strings attached? Wowie! Um, to give the stage a promising young man like you is what uncles must do. Sign right here then. What? Oh, okay! Okay, okay! Let's not worry about the little things. <laughs> I signed the documents in front of me. I'm finished. But why? Should you keep on managing it? <laughs> you can't always manage it with motivation. My body can't handle it anymore. I'm thinking of living quietly with my wife. The maid next to my uncle chuckles. I'm sorry, but my flight leaves soon. What? I need you to show me stuff. <laughs> you don't want to learn from an old man. Is someone else going to teach me? I prefer not to be with this old man for the whole time, but... Well, there is someone who's called the secretary maid at the Empire Club, yet there are some that have no secretary maids, in which cases... Headmates will do all the work instead. I am actually killing myself with this stupid voice, but I enjoy it. <laughs> there are like secretaries who support their busy masters. I see. That's what a secretary maid is. I'll leave all the details to the secretary maid of this empire club. Well then, good luck to you. Understood. Aw, oh, you fucking dumbass. As my uncle said that, he left the room with the maid. A new generation of the Empire Club. What kind of Empire Club should I make? Not a dirty one. <laughs> no NTR, no bad things, nothing. Ah, oh lord. What kind of maids are here? I felt exciting, excited waiting for the secretary maid. I can't wait. I kept on waiting with excitement for the secretary maid. <laughs> Tongue tied. I've been waiting with excitement, but she doesn't seem to arrive yet. <sighs> when I calm down, is this? Thinking back, the only maid I saw was the maid with my uncle in this whole mansion. I don't even know if the Empire Club is in business. Looking back, I haven't seen even one guest. Well, probably they're just on break. It's not good to be negative. Well, I guess me and you aren't the same because I'm always negative. Did he leave me with debt and run? That can't be. No, 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 no. That can't be true. Well, that was loud. Uh, excuse me. Oh, nice to meet you. Do, 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 and you can even... I didn't mean to do that, but I, I meant to do this. I meant to go over her head, not under her. But yeah, I can look all around. Look at my big chair. There's nobody in it. We gotta, we gotta kind of eh, eh, and then eh, there we go. Now I'm sitting down. Hey, how you going? I was debating with myself. The Empire Club secretary maid shows up. She's such a beautiful woman. 
She had this sort of cold atmosphere, but her sharp face was very impressive. Hello, I am the secretary of this empire club. Nice to meet you. Excuse me. Where is my master? Your uncle. Um, he said he had a catch a plane. Did you not know? Not another runaway. Another runaway. I feel bad for saying this to you since I just met you, but you were tricked. I feel bad for saying this to you since I just met you, but you were tricked. I feel bad for saying this to you since I just met you, but you were tricked. There we go. That, that, that cry should have echoed, and I probably woke up everyone in my house, but hey, that's, that's fine. Ah! My cry echoes throughout the big new M generation Empire Club. I've had a bad feeling. This can't be. Uh, this can't actually be happening. I held on to my head and cursed my uncle and my thoughtless acts. Yeah, you should have read the fine paint, dumbass. Ah! <laughs> Wait a minute, that dumbass is me. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> okay, it took me a while to calm down. Uh, I tried the coffee the secretary made and prepared. Delicious! Can I explain to you the situation? Okay. I need to understand how bad this situation is, or I will remain being stuck. Reluctantly, I decided to ask her. The beginning was always your uncle's idea. The secretary may have started to talk. Your uncle first thought of a new generation Empire Club. The idea itself was great, but the new generation Empire Club had too many options. My uncle went over his head and started restaurants, casinos, cafes, bars, and massage parlors all at once. It's easy to guess from then on, all the businesses were managed half-heartedly and didn't work well. The Empire Club soon went into debt. There were countless maids, but now there are only three left. There are four, including me, but usually secretary maids only do secretarial works, so we'll only count as three. Despite our effort to deal with many things, we failed to pay back our debt to the loan management and building to this place. And this debt is kind of tricky. It seems that the debt is borrowed from rich investors who love maids. Got that right. <sighs> the rich investors, not really caring about their money, asked the Empire Club for things worth more than money in return. Wait, that means we can't simply pay back our debt. I remembered those words listening to the secretary maids. Yes. It's mainly the maids dance and food they cook. Uh, if that's what they wanted instead of money, it has to be really high in quality. Considering turning off the voices now, <laughs> but, uh, Yeah, sure, why not? Voices all the way. Where, where... The Voice master, I'm about to say where the voice is. There we go. They will probably find the value in how you rebuild and use your strength to get out of this hopeless state. So we're in the golden, we're the gold hidden in the mud. <laughs> this will be fun. What are you trying to be cool about? This is just a hobby of rich investors. Oh, yeah, you're right. The Empire Club has no facilities right now because we tried to pay it back as much debt as we can by selling them. As you can imagine, we can't be in business because we have no facilities. Like I said, there are no employees other than the three maids. We only have money to start a small business, but we are in short for facilities or the people for it. You, are you already my master? I will have you go through many hardships. You have to find enough maids for the place, raise them into ideal maids, and make them independent. You have to make the perfect empire club by building facilities and improving them. And to pay back our debt, you will ha oh, you have to respond to rich investors' expectations. It may seem like a lot of work since I laid out it all out, but let us do this one by one, with the maids' help too. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. The secretary maid who started to help me put together well. 
some reason that ain't... I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is my first question, Miss Secretary Maid. My bad, guys. Anyways, let's not be too polite. I wouldn't mind, but it might set a bad example for the other maids. I understand, Secretary Maid. Here's my question. Do I have a choice to run away from managing the Empire Club? It's impossible. Please read the document you signed. Mm -hmm. With fine letters and jargons, it says as follows. If you sign transfer agreement of the Empire Club, the signee will be treated as mortgage. Hey, no wonder my uncle rushed me. I'm sorry, but there's nowhere to run. Ugh, it seems like I can't run. This means I have to work here. I'm sure my fate was decided when I came. No, at the time, my uncle contacted me. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> me too. Okay, then. I look at the secretary maid again. I would love to hear about your business plan and how you want to change things. She's really cool. But first, you should meet with the maids. The maids will decide the value of the Empire Club. Even if we might have the best facilities, without our maids, it will be just a big building. You're right. There are only three maids staying here, aren't there? It's about those three, but... Can I see them now, or can you send them to the other club? So basically what this option does, you can just go meet the maids that have already been working here. I mean, you still get to customize and whatever you want, but if you choose the second option, you pretty much kick them the fuck out and hire new maids, which look exactly like them. <laughs> but hey, either way, you still get to customize name and all that other jargon, so it doesn't really matter. So look, can I see them maids? How they doing? Yes, they're finishing up leftover work now. Should I call them in? You don't need to. I'll go instead. I want to check how they're working. That's good to know. I will not come with you, but I advise you to talk to them one by one. Secretary May told me where they were working, and I went to go talk to them. Oh boy. About the first three maids. You can never fire the three maids whom you will meet now. So yep, no matter what happens, no matter how hard things get, no matter how much you play yourself and get cucked, these three are with you forever, so play with them wisely or you're fucked. Ah, you'll have the memories of horrid things burned into your retinas, into your mind for as long as you can live, so make sure to treat them right. Anyways, the days that are to come at the Empire Club will be centered around these three maids. About first edits. You can enter maids after the first edit. There are no limits to changing appearances. Name, sexual experience, heroin type, and all details has to do with the internal, so can only be changed at first edit. What kind of maid would you like to be first one? Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. So my first maid, huh? Oh boy, oh boy. So, now I was thinking about like you know what i should do with this because you know i was thinking maybe i can make characters from different series and then put them in the game but then i thought about that and then i know how people are with characters and oh you're putting them in a situation and it's like you know you know we don't need any of that kind of business because you know this game has some <clears throat> content so you know Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, when it comes time to that kind of thing, it's like, um, wait a minute, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, even though I plan to have a straightforward, nice and clean club, uh, <laughs> there can still be some hiccups here and there. So basically, instead of taking characters from an already known series, I'll just make my own. And if you guys really don't care, then we can go back and make them look like characters from different series. Or, even better, we can just hire them, and then we have the original characters, and then the series characters, and just have a big old fucking fest. I don't know. But anyways, the personalities. Hi, Muku. But, yeah, if you didn't know, this right here, that's Muku, right there. That the, uh, innocent puppy dog, cute protect always personality. And if you look down here at the picture, the one with the black hair, that's Majime. The one with the blonde hair, that's Rendere. Now, if you want to know a better tutorial about what they are, uh, well, this sure is helpful, but... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I, never mind. Uh, can I somehow get rid of this? I, I don't think I can. But, um... You know, you know, that kind of is better. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> Majime is a serious type. Rendere is, I like how Majime only has that one. What, what? My phone is searching shit because I'm talking? What, what is this garbage? Go away. Anyways, <laughs> but <laughs> Majime or Muku is the pure and innocent type. Majime is the serious type. Rendary, a mature, dignified type, which is usually cool, but sometimes gets sweet and friendly. I wonder which one they favor out of the three. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways. An NTR. Netarare. Cuckold. Short for Netarare. Netarare means cuckold. You bet it does. You fucking bet it does. Anyways. But, yeah. Um. So, that now that... No, get the glossary the fuck out of here. Now that you have a rough explanation of what the personalities are, it's time to choose which one will be our head mate. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. <clears throat> Looks wise, I really like Majime. <laughs> I really like Majime's look. Like, mm, 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 mm. Majime. Mm. But yeah, uh, and personality wise, Majime. <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah i'm i'm gonna be real with you i really like majime her personality because i like because because i like sundares you all you all know this <laughs> but she's not a hundred percent sundare but she has sundare tendencies and that made me like her but i also really like muku because she's like that perfect girlfriend of being all sweet and cuddly and shit and rendere is dami mommy miss mm, mature mm. but <laughs> anyways <laughs> the point is my top personality would be little devil but unfortunately little devil is not a main character she's a side character so we can technically do her story, but mm, it's gonna take some time. We gotta earn money, so, but anyways, I'm gonna make Majime our main girl, and I'm gonna make her into Shion. You remember the channel mascot, Shion? Yeah, the, the character I've done nothing with? Well, guess what? She got a revamp. This is what she looks like now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Now she's fit to be a Sundere, eh? because she has the twin tails. <laughs> oh my God, but yeah. So, I'm gonna go in here and try my damnedest to make of this. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll give it my, well, I can't make the outfit obviously, but I can make her maybe look like that. So I'm gonna go in and give it a shot. I'll meet you guys on the other side. Oh God. That actually took more effort than I thought it would. But hey, we're done. Um, Jesus Christ, I've been sitting here for probably 10 to 15 minutes doing this. <laughs> but yes, I think it's as close. The the Hoge is kind of fucked up, but I believe that is is as close to Shion as we're gonna get. As you can see, we got the bow ties and everything. The Aho game looking a little stupid, but hey, we got her little beauty mark. We got everything, you know, everything just seems all nice and well. I think this is a pretty damn good replication of Shion. So now all we gotta do is just fill out her profile. All right, so first off, Shion doesn't have a last name because, because anyway. <laughs> So her name is just Xion. She's 24 years old, and her nickname, um, Soon Soon Fox Girl. Yeah, sure, why not? That's her. That's her nickname. Doesn't really matter since we're not gonna call her that. But that is Xion, and of course she is for this game. Mm -hmm. Anyways, fuck. Her profile. Um, free comment. I think that just about describes Shion, Fox Girl with, with a subpar YouTuber who plays board games all day. <laughs> and sometimes posts <laughs> them online. Oh my god, my typing is shit, but sometimes posts them online. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Anyways. Oh god, no.
Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but anyways, fucking hell. So, basically, that this is Shion. That's a free comment. <laughs> but everything about her is about right. She just probably needs a tail. Or their tails. I didn't look. Ah, uh, they probably are, but not ones I need. That... That... That don't match her hair. Only three colors supported. I mean... It's not the same color as her hair, though. Oh, well, her tail is just a lighter color than the rest of her. Because why not? Uh, Xion is done. This is Xion. She's done. She's perfect. Now let's, let's give her a cute little pose. Um... No. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And she does smile like this. There we go. Xion is done. We he have completed her. We just gotta wait for her to be ton talking and then bam. And then call her by her first name. Let's get into this. Oh boy. <laughs> it does. I mean, with Xion's new look and she's slightly suited right now, I, I guess this personality fits her. I don't know what personality would really fit her other than Little Devil, but Little Devil ain't a main character, and I want this to be about Xion. She needs spotlight because I never use her for things. Now, custom made. Anyway, she told me that I can only meet one person today, and that's all we're gonna do. <laughs> it seems that the other two are so busy that if I wanted to make a good first impression, I shouldn't meet them yet. So, I came here to meet Xion, the only maid who is available today, but... It's my own character, I don't even know how she'd sound. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's just gonna be typical soon soon voice. Ah, uh, I can't believe they just left this! Look at all these papers! They haven't finished any of them! And... Uh, and I've been telling them repeatedly to get the receipt! Uh, ah! She looks stressed out. I knock on the door. There she on, look at her, she's perfect. I'd say that's a perfect representation of the one I made. Anyways, whoa, uh, um. She don't look toward me. I mean, we can get a sample of her voice. So, just pump that up. She took several breaths to calm herself down. Excuse me, are you the new master? Yes. I am. <laughs> we know each other. <laughs> How could you forget me? I made you. <laughs> Twice now. <laughs> Three times if you include this. Anyways, I introduce myself. I'm Xion. I look forward to working with you, Master. Me too. It seems like Xion is the maid who takes care of finance and paperwork. She's fed up with the way my uncle manners them. Um, why did you decide to stay in the Empire Club? At least, I don't think that one maid should feel responsible for the work the previous owner who ran away left behind. Simply, my reason is that I didn't want to give up on work that was done. I thought that I could still do something. I see. Xion looks at me with a serious look. I'm the type to do work just as part of my job. I am the type to do work just as part of my job. Okay. I thought I won't be moved by emotions. But I felt sad once I knew that this Empire Club was going to be closed down. And I thought that I'd stay at the Empire Club until I know why I'm feeling that way. I just wanted to finish the works. I just don't like things being done half-heartedly. Are you by any chance a pain in the neck? <laughs> what? We just met! What are you saying? Xion is definitely a pain in the neck. Uh, she... New, new lore for Xion. She constantly gets me to try and work and put out videos, but I'm too fucking lazy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I found you're serious. She... Is the game in English or is it translating? Cause, no, it's in English. English is just that off. Okay. <laughs> when you mindlessly play through this game, you kind of don't notice. But now that I'm reading it aloud, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> she can't abandon unfinished work nor leave unsolved things as they are. Loyal and sincere. I saw those as important aspects for a maid. Loyal. Mm. 
loyal. Love me some loyal. You know that three-letter word? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That can break loyalty in seconds. I hate it. Uh, I fear we can get along well, Xion, considering we've been living together for... Years? How long ago did I make you? I think I made you two years ago, and I have yet to do anything with you. Here's your debut, Xion. You better make people happy, because if not, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> do you think so? I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I look forward to working with you. Please support this useless master. I don't know about that, but I will love to. I just finished talking to Xion with an awkward smile. Two more left. With a quiet expectation, I decide to look forward to tomorrow. I got a shame, man. GP2, we can get married to Xion. That means very poor scenarios added. Majime mother, no. We're not gonna do the extra bits until later, and I'm pretty sure some of them are just porn. Anyway, so. You know. Anyways, tutorial shit. So, tutorial schedule the maids. You can create a schedule for the maids and their employ, which. The maids will follow accordingly. Try creating a schedule for your maids. Schedule. Any maids that haven't been scheduled for anything will do nothing. If you wish to train your maids or have them work, make sure to set a schedule for them. A bubble. Tutorial managing maids. How do I increase my maids? How do I check the status of my maids? How do I change the appearance of my maids? Select the maid add -in button in order to access the information of your maids you currently have employed, as well as change their appearance. Use this mode to adjust your maid settings to your liking. Naturally, hiring maids requires money. Make sure you have enough saved up if you wish to hire new maids. Hiring maids requires 3 million CR. Oh boy. Events such as maid favorability events or uh, the addition of sub characters will be registered in the event section. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, all register events can be played at your convenience. Events will not be erased until they have been completed. That's why I hate having NTR turned on because even when you reject the events, it still pops up over here like, hey, hey, you want to get cucked? No, I don't. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> Anyways, god damn it. <laughs> Tutorial shop. It's impossible to purchase items in the shop with the funds you earn. Oh, I thought it said impossible. Just wait a minute. You may purchase costumes as well as change made costume accessories. You may access the shop in both daytime and nighttime. It's also possible to access the shop directly through the maid manager section. Ooh. Anyways, for, um, it's possible to edit purchase costumes. Purchase costumes can be used on all maids. Also, you can preview the costumes that you try by selecting costumes and clicking try on button. You can try on any costume and accessory and see how they look. Be sure to buy all the items that fit your fancy. How about facility settings? With, uh, you know, this is all tutorial shit. I mean, you know, you can... I'll just go through it base by base. This is the facility. You can choose to build new facilities, like I can build a bar, I can build a cafe, things like that. But it costs money. You can also strengthen your facilities, which you can't do that until you get a certain character, I believe. So, fuck that. Next, about the classes of maids. From what I know, these don't mean shit. But they kind of do, but they kind of don't. It basically increases your maid stamina at nighttime when you get to the fuckings. So, basically, there'll be little cutscenes, I think, if you increase their their maid experience points and basically you can learn new classes from what i know they don't do anything other than your mate talks about learning the things required for that class and then it's never brought up and the bottom one is yotogi classes which is sexual classes which you get by doing the dues which you made but we're not focusing on that because we're a good nice and clean empire club this is the tutorial for dancing i hate this mini game because it's like osu but it's not anyways so basically now that you've had the rundown of the game we can have she on here work yes we know we can have them train work or do you togi which is do 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 do's anyways yes setting player mid communication time so you can either choose to watch your maid and stare at her for hours on end or you can just choose to let her do her work and leave her in peace it's up to you but if you watch her and stare at her she'll feel uncomfortable but she'll gain experience points with her and she'll like you more why i don't know maybe she feels that if she likes you she'll stop staring at her anyways this is about your facilities and the more people you put in the more staff ranking it is and you know 
I'll get to that in a different episode because we only have Xion right now, so it doesn't really fucking matter what we do. We're gonna make Xion. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> but um. Yeah. Um. Also, actually, cracked wedding bells. You can get cucked at your own wedding. Enjoy that. Anyways, no. So basically, we're gonna be clean Empire Club and we're just gonna teach Xion to serve alcohol because, yeah. We're just gonna do BAM right here in the second thing because the first thing is filled with all my extra saves of doing dumb shit. So, BAM, we got our save here, guys. Because in my other one, I want to do everyone's path because I don't want to even cuck the maids. I'm gonna date each of them individually. They all get their own separate save file and it's all sunshine and rainbows yeah i don't know fuck it anyways but yes so i don't know if we're actually gonna continue this not much happened other than we made xion will xion get her debut do you want to see xion's debut nobody knows i i, I kind of want to because i, I kind of want her to be relevant i made her as a fucking mascot but i haven't done anything with her but now she is here this isn't xion that's muku but <laughs> i digress thank you all for watching this extra randomly weird episode of custom order may 3d2 and if you like this hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends tell them that Kinixis is doing it he's actually playing hentai on youtube now even though he's done it before this game is basically just that in a sense i mean they're a story but it's mm, anyways but yeah so thank you all for watching i love you all and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye everyone Bye -bye. Bye -bye.